Tonight is the third time in just over two years that we've come here to discover the result of a major UK-wide poll. What will happen tonight? Will the Conservatives get the 326 seats they need to win outright, or will Labour close the gap? Never before have we gone into an election with such diverse predictions. And by the magic of sophology, we're able to predict what we think has happened tonight. And what we're saying is the Conservatives are the largest party. Note, they don't have an overall majority at this stage. The Conservative Party have lost their overall majority and would be short by 12 votes. 12 MPs short. If these numbers are correct, then Theresa May has played a high-risk political game and she appears she may have lost her gamble. Well, the reaction from senior Conservatives, and I've talked to a few, is they flatly don't believe it. It will give enormous power to Jeremy Corbyn, not just within Parliament, but within his party too. The pound is down about 2% already against the dollar. It's also down against the euro. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, are we going to be hung, drawn and quartered if this is all wrong? Chi Onwura, Labour Party. 24,071. It is the first sign of the night that maybe the country is going to drift from uh, the Conservatives to the Labour Party. I don't know what's happened to Sunderland, John. They were beavering away, but no, nothing seems to have happened. Uh, well, All those white gloves and that running around. Julie Elliott has been duly elected to serve as member for the said constituency. Immediately better for the Conservatives than the exit poll suggested, worse for Labour than the exit poll suggested. We're getting really conflicting signals. Help me with the technology here for a second. Uh, it's okay, it doesn't matter if we see you. We're going to need a new word for caveat soon. So the SNP are on 34 seats, that is. That means that they would lose 12. A real triumph for Ruth Davidson. It makes it much, much less likely that we will see another Scottish independence yeah. referendum anytime soon. No election is complete without the swingometer, and we haven't seen the swingometer yet, so where is the swingometer? <laughs> Nick Clegg, Liberal Democrats, 19,756. In politics, you live by the sword and you die by the sword. The electorate gives with one hand and takes away with the other. Will you come back into active politics? And... I would have absolutely no choice but to do exactly that. I am standing down today as the leader of UKIP with immediate effect. Marsha, Chantol. Extraordinary. Labour have done some serious damage to Conservative seats in England. Mm. Well, the worst possible outcome would be a hung pump. I would have thought that's enough to go, actually. Contrast that with the face of Theresa May, the look of a woman defeated, heavily made up, as if she'd been in tears earlier. At this time, more than anything else, this country needs a period of stability. Are you still a moron? Jeremy has performed infinitely better than anybody, probably including Jeremy, ever expected he could and that Theresa May has performed infinitely worse. She now has to contend with the absolute horror of her parliamentary parties. She now has to obviously consider her position. We have been trying to get Boris Johnson to talk to us. No. David Davis to talk to us. No. Philip Hammond to talk to us. Went to his camp. Come and talk to us. No. So senior figures in the Tory party. Stumm. Prime Minister, will you be stepping down? It looks as though our forecast is going to prove remarkably accurate. Maybe, in the end, the most accurate exit poll yet. It is a hung parliament, and that's the story. No one's won this election, so who's best to form a government? A stable government in the interest of the people. We believe the Labour Party can do that. Theresa May has no intention whatsoever of resigning. She will leave here in a couple of hours' time to go to Buckingham Palace to seek permission from the Queen to form a government. And the way we understand she will do that is with assurances from the Ulster Unionists that they will see her through in Parliament. Not a formal coalition, but an informal understanding between the Conservatives and the Democratic Unionist Party. I do hope that uh, the result of the elections uh, will have no major impact on uh, the negotiations we are desperately waiting for.
The government I lead will put fairness and opportunity at the heart of everything we do, so that we will fulfil the promise of Brexit together and, over the next five years, build a country in which no one and no community is left behind.